Hi. Um, a film that I've wanted to see for some time uh, and was actually nominated at last year's Oscars was At Eternity's Gate. Um, it stars Willem Dafoe as Vincent van Gogh and is essentially the story of the last few years of his life. It's a story that's been told on film before. Lust for Life with um, Kirk Douglas is a particularly strong version of that story. But this is directed and co-written by Julian Schnabel, who is a painter. So it has the aesthetic of telling the story in a way that matches perhaps the style in which Van Gogh would tell it. But in a modern filmmaking context, I may, I may not be explaining this too well. The film is shot, as far as I can tell, digitally. It's very handheld and the style is putting the, the, the viewer very much in Van Gogh's point of view and perspective. We see these beautiful landscapes around Arles and Auvergne, the two places where Van Gogh spent the last few years of his life painting. And we see these landscapes that look like Van Gogh paintings. They're just filmed normally. But you think, yes, that looks, you know, the, the row of trees, the, the fields, the buildings, it looks like something you'd see in a Van Gogh painting. And I can imagine often it was. Um, another uh, element that he uses is to film almost like this, to film in very close close up, but with wide angle lenses. So the face almost seems to distort somewhat, but it feels much more interrogative. So you have people looming in towards the camera as though they're looming in very close to Van Gogh and he's almost being pushed down into a corner. And I think there's also a degree of um, height perspective as well, where other people are slightly higher looking down or he's further down looking up. And a lot of shots of Van Gogh himself front on. That's obviously great visual imagery, but direct, front on. Um, so he's talking directly into the camera while talking to the other character in the scene. So it's a very subjective style of storytelling, which is very interesting. I had something of a horse in this race, not because I was involved in the film in any way, but because um, I've always been fascinated by Van Gogh. Uh, he's my favourite artist. I love his work. I'm fascinated by the man himself. And um, as someone who suffered from mental illness, I feel tremendous sympathy and empathy for the man. Um, as I myself have had uh, problems in the past that I you know, stretch into the present, so to speak. Um, so <laughs> maybe I'm going easier on this film or being perhaps more praised towards this film than I might otherwise. But uh, Defoe's performance is really remarkable. He embodies the man completely. He's totally believable, even though he's 25 years older than Van Gogh was when he died. Um, and you see the entire film through his world, through his eyes. It's, it's a, I say, a very subjective story. He is the centre of the film's universe. Everything that happens radi radiates out from him. Um, there are some very fine supporting performances. Rupert Friend plays his brother and um, uh, supporter, financial supporter, Theo. Um, Oscar Isaac is an unusual choice, but very well cast as Paul Gauguin. Um, Van Gogh's uh, collaborator and friend and occasional enemy. Um, but it's, it's seeing the world and the story of Van Gogh, the way that he saw it through his point of view is where the film works so well. Um, it also provides an unusual and alternative explanation to his death that says that it was the result of horseplay by others involving a gun rather than suicide, which apparently isn't supported by any evidence, but is an alternative explanation that has apparently been um, uh, advanced. The title I misunderstood before. At Eternity's Gate, I thought meant death, that this is a story of Van Gogh at the time of his death and that eternity is stretching out before him. But as he says during the film, he looks at a flat landscape and he sees it stretching on for eternity. He sees God as the embodiment of nature and vice versa. So standing at eternity's gate for him is standing with the whole of nature, the whole of the beauty of the universe spread out before him 
like as an infinite vista and that's very much what the film is portraying we see the world the way van gogh saw it and the audience too is able to stand at eternity's gate <laughs>